now that we have uh, added uh, IOSs for our routers, we can um, start, let's say, uh, 3600. I have an image for that. And uh, remember, I didn't add an uh, image for my PIX firewall. So if I try to add something I don't have an image for, you get an error message. So um, going back uh, to our uh, router, I've added a 3600 uh, series router. This is a 3640. If you hover over the router, um, this pop-up will give you information about it. Uh, also notice that to the right here I have um, some information as to what my CPU usage is. As you can see, uh, it's kind of low. It's around 15, 5, 8 percent to up to 20. So it's not too high. Uh, RAM usage is 21 percent right now. I have 8 gigs of RAM on this machine. Uh, but as soon as I turned uh, my router on, remember it had 256, uh, actually it has 128 megs of RAM. It'll utilize that RAM and it'll util utilize CPU cycles to run. Let's do that right now. Let's turn it on. And uh, also let me console to it. By default, we'll, we'll, we'll get putty. And uh, as you can see, right, right away, the CPU usage went up 40, 52%. Uh, and I'm only running just one router. Imagine if I was running 10 routers. But fortunately, there's something we can do uh, to uh, minimize the impact of running all these routers. I'm going to wait until it comes to... Uh, prompt so the router is idle at this moment it finished loading as you can see I'm at a R1 prompt uh, so I will right click the router and choose idle PC from the menu and then momentarily we'll see that the CPU usage went up and uh, GNS3 is calculating idle PC values now it says here potentially better idle PC values are marked with an asterisk uh, I'm going to click on the drop down and see the different values that it provided me with. And I can see that number three has an asterisk and it is potentially better than the other values. So I'm going to choose it. Now, if we look at the CPU usage, um, core number two is around 70%, just for a minute there, you can see that. I'm going to click, I'm going to select that, click apply, and then OK. And right away, you're going to see that the uh, um, CPU usage went down. If you look at the graph, uh, the usage was kind of minimal and then it went up when uh, I turned the router on and now when I uh, chose that uh, idle PC value went back down to pretty much how it was at the beginning. And as you can see uh, CPU usage it's, it's back to normal. Now let me add a second router, and uh, this time I'll add another, let's add another 3600 router, right click it and turn it on, and momentarily the CPU usage will go up. Let me get a console window to that. And uh, as you can see the, the CPU usage, it's higher, and it will be while and the, the iOS is loading. Okay, uh, it's at a prompt, so the it finished loading, so it's idle at this moment. As you can see, by the peak right here, uh, when the iOS of the second router or the second router loaded its iOS, CPU usage went up for a little bit, not as high as it did before, and because we already have an uh, idle PC value, it used it, and uh, the CPU usage is fairly low. Now, what happens if I add, say, a 2621 router? Let me add one and turn it on. 
when I start that up, you'll see that CPU usage goes back up. Let me um, get a console for it going on. And uh, this time you can see that uh, usage went up. I'm gonna wait again until the router finishes, the third router finishes uh, loading the iOS. And, uh, and there it goes. Uh, but this time notice that CPU usage remains high. So what we need to do for each type of router, we need to run idle PC. So what I'll do at this time, I'll right click that router and run idle pc to get a idle pc value for it takes a few seconds and now i'm presented with choices i'm going to click on the drop down as you can see seven and eight have asterisks i want to choose number seven click apply and okay and hopefully uh, my cpu usage will come down again and uh, sure enough, it does. See, if you look at the graph, you see how it came back down to around, you know, you can see the orange core, the first core, which is C0 for core 0, is at 17% right now, and then core 1 is at 11 and 15 and 5. So for each router, you need to get an idle PC value. 